Kayla, please like and subscribe. Time for holativity. We need it in our yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so today is not um, highlighting a specific person. It's highlighting oh. a page that I follow on Twitter. I'm never going to um, guess this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. So actually you might. So um, oh. the other day they posted, know this. Some people will not hear you regardless of how often, how loudly, how truthfully, how lovingly, or how profoundly you speak. Wish them well and move on. Yeah. I saw this. I did too, yeah. I cannot remember who it came from. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I saw it though, but I can't remember who it came from. So the page is called Power of Positivity. Yes. Uh, that was just a couple days ago, wasn't it? Yep, it was just... Maybe, I think yes. on Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday, okay. Yeah. Ah. Yep. I, I almost <laughs> wrote that down too because I was like, nah, she won't use that. <laughs> one for you three. You know, this one actually hit really close to home, especially this week. Um, you know, some people tend to take your your words and twist them to fit into a narrative that they want. And so, you know, it, it's very frustrating when you see that. And I, I've often wondered, like, if you don't like what I have to say, why, what's so hard of just keep scrolling? Like, why do you have to stop and comment on something? And on top of that, make a comment that is not even remotely what the tweet was about. Um, I, I just never understood that. and no matter how much you argue with these people, they're never going to see it from your point of view. They're always going to think the worst in you because they think that that their opinion actually matters more than yours does. And so, you know, it. I just felt like this one was kind of perfect for this week. And, you know, being true to yourself and knowing who you are kind of eliminates that ne negativity um, that you do tend to get on some of your posts on Twitter. So I saw I just, that you, I, I saw that you kind of yeah. got attacked a little bit on Twitter this yeah. week, and I really thought a lot about that, Holly. I think some people are just so miserable. One, they may not even realize that they yeah. are that miserable, but they can't believe that anybody would be positive or truthful all the time. They just can't because they don't have that example in real life. Yeah. And yeah. to them, seeing it on Twitter is not real. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, anybody that... Was... Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm just going to oh, say no, anybody ahead. that doubts you, Holly, has not spent very much time with you. Because, and that's the thing. That's yeah. exactly what I was just going to say. Like, if you haven't spent time with me, I guess you would you would automatically assume, assume it's fake. However look at the people that I surround myself with and look at the look at what they're or listen to what they say about me shouldn't that be that an should indicator be the number one indicator yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but it's not to this you know to these these people and that's okay you know I the the post I, I'm referring to um specifically and I'll just read it because I still feel this way I will always feel this way um let me see. If, okay. So I said something to keep in mind. Some people think they're more important than others, but the truth is they're just a small pieces of a much bigger picture. Don't get upset over people blocking you. It just shows who you don't need around you. Mm -hmm. And so to me, when I put that post out, you know, a lot of my posts, you guys aren't directed towards anybody specifically or individually, mm -hmm. hardly ever. Um, I'll post things like this. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's, yeah. Um, hey, emotions are real. Yeah. You are allowed to have them. So oh, yeah. don't be ashamed. For real. 
So the reason I posted that is because I saw a lot of people taking offense to being blocked, whether it was something they did or sometimes it's nothing that they even did to get blocked. You know, they just had an opinion that was different from somebody else's. And I've been in that that place where I've been blocked for I didn't even know why. And it hurts your feelings. And, you know, and I think people forget about there's a human be behind the person you're blocking. Now, I understand if I did something that was like so out of line that I deserve to be blocked or I just constantly troll. I get that. I totally get that. But to diminish, you know, diminish somebody just because they have an opposing opinion than you do is never OK. And that my post was directed to the people who have, you know, whose feelings are hurt being blocked by somebody who they thought was your friend. Mm -hmm. And when I say these people think they're more important, but the, you know, the, um, they, they're more important than they really are, but they're just small pieces of a much bigger picture. I'm not saying to somebody directly and individually, I'm saying that as a whole, including myself, because sometimes we think we're a little more important than we really are to a you know a, the grand scheme of things and so for this you know this person specifically to call me out and call me a hypocrite over this because of, she took my words and twisted it into this narrative that she wants to believe and that's just so mind-blowing to me and then to have her husband get on and call me fake you know, make a reference and gifts that I'm faking it. It just, this one really got to me because it's again, you guys, it's the same group of people that feel like they're above everybody else. And I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of people being hurt by them. And, you know, and then other people looking up to that, that's never okay. Like that's, yep. if that's what you want to do, fine. And so I did what I had to do to get that that kind of negativity out of my life because that's not who I am and the fact that it, I let it get to me as much as I did really really bothers me because I do know who I am I know who I am like every single day and it just bothers me that they they chose that route when have I ever in the two and a half years that I've been around, you know, this Twitter thing and this Safe Moon Army thing, I have never, never called some, like directly spoke to somebody in a bad way. And if they think that my posts are directed to you, that's a you problem. And if yeah. the shoe fits, you better wear it. <laughs> mm, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, wow. It's funny you say that because I feel like sometimes people are, like in sermons and churches, they're like, oh, I feel like the preacher was talking to me. I was like, well, he might want to look in the mirror then because maybe he was, you know, but yes, but, but then you'll talk to the preacher and he's like, I don't even know who that person is. You know, yeah. it's like you just get convicted by something. But anyways. Well, all I know is we love you, Holly. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, those guys do. Josh does. He just can't <laughs> say it sometimes. No, she knows I love her. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I mean, and that's I, why, like, I'm so thankful for people like you that are in my life because she keep me grounded and remind me that, you know, it's just a random troll on Twitter. It's going to be OK. You know, I just I just know, like, this one just really got to me really bad. I, see, I and I really can't believe that it did, but it did. If yeah. you were fake, it wouldn't have got to you at all. You wouldn't care. Yeah. I was thinking the same. Like those people are fake. That's all it is. Actually, I don't know if you can even call them fake. I just think some people are so miserable. They just don't even know how yeah. miserable they are. Right. Well, I they, really yeah. do believe that. I, I yeah. Because you can call me whatever it's, you want. I really don't care. It's projection. But when it start getting on to you or you or you, that's when yeah. I start to care. Yeah. And I've actually I don't think I've ever blocked anybody, just because it really doesn't bother me what they say about us. Yeah. Yeah. And I like yeah, to see I, that difference in opinion. And I also like to see idiots being idiots. I just, that's funny to me. Right. So I don't really block anybody so I can see it all. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I may have, I may I have mean, blocked one person 
but I think it was on YouTube for like me. really, really, really bad comments. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, if I don't want my daughter to read this, yeah. that person's not going to yeah. be allowed to comment on our YouTube page. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the only time. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't, but I know if it has, hasn't been more than one or two. Uh, Chin up, Holly. We love you, like Greg said. And yeah. I just think that the reason it got to you is because you aren't fake. I really do. When she was standing I up, really try not to be. I, I mean, I don't know how else to be. So if this is, if I'm fake, then I'm fake all the time. I don't know. <laughs> what <I can> be. <laughs> yeah. You faked yourself out. I mean, we that's what I'm fake. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was just saying, I think part of the. Uh, the emotion behind it is that you're you're trying to stand up for for other people, and yeah. then and then you got thrown under the bus, and that's not where you're coming from at all. And it that's exactly kind of, yeah. you know what you just like. That's exactly what it is, Caleb. Like yeah. that, I literally was looking out for the you know the other people that. Yeah you know that just get their feelings hurt or i thought you were my friend and then it, it sucks that's the worst feeling ever yeah, like yeah. to think somebody's your friend and then all of a sudden they're like well i don't agree with you and you're blocked yeah. like yeah. it's like well dang, that's it's that easy for you yeah like yeah. it just means you didn't mean uh, anything to so him in the weird. first place repay, and that's the part exactly that hurts. yeah repay evil for good there you go yeah Exactly. And I just feel like, you know, these people are going to burn everybody. Eventually, everybody will start to see who they really are. I mean, I, I just, it just sucks of the people who, you know, stand up for these people, like, and then they get burned. That's yeah. what really, really sucks. Yeah. Well, if doing good was easy, everybody would do it. But That's usually true. the right thing is a hard thing. So the narrow path. Keep doing the right thing. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs>